Mistral from France recently released version 3 of its celebrated 7 billion parameter model. In previous video, we saw how to install it and how to test it out on various benchmarks and we saw that how good that model was and it lived up to its expectations. In this video, we are going to fine tune this Mistral 7 billion instruct model on a custom data set and we will be using this very good tool called as unsloth if you don't know what unsloth is i have done various videos on it and i also did an interview with its founder daniel han so please search the channel i'm more than sure you won't be disappointed just to give you a quick overview of this unsloth it fine tunes a lot of variants of models like llama 3 mistral Gemma, and few others in a very very quick way plus its accuracy is awesome there is no approximate approximation method all exact also there is no need to change any hardware because it supports nvidia gpus plus um, cuda capabilities titan and you name the nvidia gpu and it will be supporting it it works both on linux and windows via wsl it supports 4-bit and 16-bit qlora and lora fine tuning okay so let's go to my google colab let's dive right into it and see how can we use this unsloth to fine tune our mistral 7 billion model i will also drop the link to the colab from unsloth so you can also check it out another cool thing is that all you need to do is to do, go to this google colab and you can fine tune your 7 billion model for free and by free i mean you don't even have to pay for the gpu just go to the google colab change runtime type and go with t4 gpu how good is that now first step let's install the unsloth and these are the commands to unsloth uh, installation it is going to install the latest version of unsloth from its github repo source and then it is going to install some parameter efficient fine tuning accelerate and bits and bytes libraries if you don't know what they are i already have explained them in great detail in my other videos so just search with the name and you should be able to find it. let's wait for it to finish everything is installed now let's import these libraries and also download our mistral 7 billion quantized version let's run it and it is going to set all the libraries and max sequence length let's wait for it to finish you don't take too long it's not a hugely big model so you see that it is downloading it the model size is just around 4 gig model is downloaded and now in the next step let's add the lora weights here so before i run it let me try to explain this because this is important so what we are doing it we are adding the lora weights lora stands for low rank adaptation it is a technique for efficiently adapting the base language models such as we are doing with mistral 7 billion to new tasks or data sets by adding low rank matrices to the model's weights enabling for fast and flexible fine tuning lora enables task specific adaptation while leveraging the pre-trained model's general knowledge, making it a popular approach for transfer learning in natural language processing. That is what we are doing here. And if you go through this command, what, for, what we are doing here is that the first line where we are specifying the model, it is just telling it that um, we are adding the LoRa weights to the existing model using the get peft model function from this fast language model class. And then we are specifying our model here r is equal to 16 this sets the rank of the lora weights to 16. lora weights are low rank matrices and this parameter controls the number of singular values to keep in the decomposition and then we are specifying the target modules like q proj k proj these uh, specifies the modules or layers in the model where lora weights will be added these modules are typically the query key value and output projection layers in a transformer architecture so sometimes we also have some additional layers for getting and down sampling um, up sampling but i think for this one we just are specifying these modules then lora is equal to alpha has been set to 16 
which sets the scaling factor for the LoRa weights. This parameter controls the strength of the adaptation. Then we have LoRa dropout, which we have set to zero, meaning no dropout will be applied. Bias is also none, which specifies that there will be no bias added to the LoRa weights. And then we are setting gradient checkpointing to unsloth. So this primarily enables gradient checkpointing, which saves memory by only storing the gradients of the LoRa weights at certain intervals. Random state is 3407. That is a random seed for initializing the LoRa weights. And then we are using RS LoRa, which is a randomized sparse LoRa, which is a variant of LoRa that uses random sparse projections. Let me run it. It will take too long. That is done. And in the next step, let's specify our data set. And I'm using the common alpaca weapon data set, which they have used. And it's a very familiar uh, template instruction input and response of the model. So let's run it. It is using the data set library and it's a very smallish data set for our purpose. Just 44 meg. It has split into train and validation. So all done. And now in the next step, let's specify our training parameters. We are using the TRL library from Hugging Face and it's a supervised fine tuning trainer. Then we are importing some of the libraries. And then in this trainer configuration, we are specifying the model tokenizer, what is the data set, some of the hyperparameters, and some of the training arguments as whether we want the logging or not, what would be the learning rate, what will be the scheduler type, and what will be the optimizer like AdamW, and that all uh, sort of stuff. Let me run it. It don't take too long because we are just setting the trainer here. There you go, you see that it is working. ETA is around five minutes, so let's wait for it to go through it. That's all done. And now let's specify our trainer here. Let's run it. And you will see that as the training starts, the loss will keep dropping down. In the first step, the training loss is 1.4, and then it is going to take around 60 or so steps. The loss is not dropping. Training is still going on, and we are at step number 38. So it will take a bit of a time, of course. And while this fine tuning is going on, let me also try to explain the process of fine tuning here so fine tuning a model primarily refers to the process of adjusting a pre-trained model's parameters to fit a specific task or data set this involves adding a new output layer or modifying the existing one to align with the target task and then retraining the model on a new data set using back propagation and optimization algorithms the goal is to adapt the model's weights and biases to learn new patterns and relationships in the data, improving its performance and accuracy on the target task while building on the knowledge and features learned during pre-training. This process allows for efficient adaptation to new tasks and datasets, leveraging the pre-trained model's general knowledge and features as a starting point. So that is what fine tuning is all about. And that is what we are doing here. All the fine tuning is done. So our model is ready. The new, I mean, on our custom data set. And if you want to do the inference on it, all you need to do is to just specify your prompt in Alpaca one, and then ask the model to generate the output on the basis of your input instruction. So for example, I'm just asking in continue the Fibonacci sequence. And then this is the instruction. This is the input and this is the output. And because this is a prompt template, we have fine-tuned our existing model. So let me run it. So there you see how quick it is. And model has given us the response back. So this is how easy it is to fine-tune a model on your custom data set by using Unsloth. And 
as usual the performance of mistral is quite easy and mistral is always flexible as i said i will drop the link to this collab in video description please play around with it and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching